Do black girls cold? Black girls cold! Do black girls cold? Black girls cold! Do black girls cold? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natai and today the question that I'm addressing is do black girls code? Now what got me thinking about this is this past weekend I volunteered with an organization called Black Girls Code. They had a gaming event held at Morehouse University in Atlanta and what we did is we had girls from ages 5 all the way up to 17 come in and learn how to code games as they were split up into different groups. So the group that I had are the PUVs, so those are, those are the 5 to 10 year 5 to 8 year olds I think. And they were using Kodu Game Lab to create games and all the other groups also like use different games like use different um applications and stuff to create games, even HTML5 and stuff. So it was a really amazing weekend and I really wanted to like vlog and also get to show you guys this because I really do think it is very important to get more black females into computer science, like get them into coding because I mean the future is definitely going into the technolo like into technology and that's the direction that we're all taking. So why not have black girls also get into this? So I hope you enjoy this video and wait 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 before we go far, hit the subscribe button down below. I know you see it. So subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Definitely give a thumbs up. I'm thinking of maybe starting like a black girl series or maybe looking at, you know, women in computer science and how that goes. If you'd be interested in that, comment down below to tell me if you would and give me a thumbs up. And hey, might as well go ahead and start it. So stay tuned, guys. It was a pretty exciting day. volunteer here today well we're black girls and we're all about the empowerment and the uplift of our youth especially our black girls in the community and we want to make sure they're involved in more um, empowering uplifting events and uh, increasing their skills <laughs> in tech so we and definitely want to increase the representation of minorities in this industry because you know we're definitely underrepresented so just making sure that they have the skills to move forward and show out major at Clayton State University. Um, I started coding when I was about 17 years old. I participated in Worldwide Hour of Code um, one year and I really liked it. I didn't realize like coding could be fun. You see like on movies and on TV it seems like a really intense anti-social job and you're just like wow this is so interesting. Of course it was just drag and drop, but from there I expanded onto like Code Academy and other platforms just trying to learn as much as I could. When it came time to declare, I knew what I wanted to do and computer science just made a lot of sense to me. Um, that's not saying that it's been like an easy road. Um, I'm not a math person and before our code I was never a tech person, but I just kept trying. And I think that's like a really important thing to keep going. You know, it's not going to be easy. There will be people who are better than you. But if you remember why you did it, I think it definitely helps to push you along. You can go ahead. 
Hey, I'm Victor. I'm first time tech instructor. I got into this because I was looking through Free Code Camp and I saw Black Girls Code and I checked it out and found a volunteer opportunity. And I'm an independent game developer, so this is a really good opportunity for me to just, uh, you know, prove that I know what I'm doing as far as game development. Uh, I'm interested in Black Girls Code because I feel like most most software companies are very, um, are many black women in software companies. Mostly it's just like white men, old white men. So I think it'd be cool to at least introduce people to something that I wish that I would have had presented to me a few years ago. Because if I had this presented to me, I probably would have already been a video game developer. <clears throat> so the first game I'm working on here, I'll just go, it's called Freestyle King, and it's a, it's a rapping. So basically the, the, the workflow of this is, um, you know, you go start, you choose how many words you like to use, so let's just say, let's do four. I'm gonna put water, alright, bottle, neck. And we're gonna put bone. Each of the words, it's like, it's like a ladder. You know? And then you choose the word you wanna start with, so we're gonna use neck, right? All right, you got APIs, so the one I'm using is called Words API, and just when you tap on rhymes, if the Wi-Fi is working, after this, it should show a bunch of rhymes. We're using Kodu Gaming Lab, which is a simple visual programming language that allows that allows its users to program games for, that can be played on a PC or an Xbox. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm Charlisa Calloway. Okay. 23 years. Uh, mm -hmm. I worked my way up from an application developer and now I'm directing and managing several uh, development teams, web development teams. And how important do you think it is for girls to code, black girls especially? I, I think it's very important. I think it's very important for all kids to code. The logic that it teaches you um, is very important for being able to make decisions. Great. And um, what else? can you tell us about some experiences that you've had throughout, like during your career? Because you've been in for like 23 years. So what are some ex unique experiences that you've had or some challenges that you've faced that some women may face and like how that could be handled? Challenges are, are around being respected and people understanding that you actually know what you're doing as a female, as a black female, um, that you have the experience and the knowledge uh, to make the correct decisions and recommendations. Okay, and um, what got you, what, like, why did you choose to enter the technology field? Uh, so I was very fortunate. Um, my father was in computers. Um, and so from a very early age, uh, he had us writing uh, programs. I have a, a computer from work, he'd bring a computer home, and he'd have it there. And he would pay us, there was a magazine that had some programs in it, mm -hmm. and he would pay us to enter these programs. Mm -hmm. And what we didn't know at the time is really, we were, he was teaching us to learn how to program. 
and we thought we were earning money. <laughs> So we'd have money to spend, and so we would we we into these programs. But you know, eventually, then we would at fifth grade, um, we were able to take a summer course. Loved it. We were you know you had this green bar paper at the mm -hmm. time that created these banners with your names on it, and you became one of the cool kids because you could produce these banners with your, your friends' names on it that they could hang up in the classroom or hang up in the room. And so you know we've always been in. Um, and my sister and I are both in computers. We've always been in programming since then. Oh, wow. Okay guys, so this part had me in absolute awe. The girls managed to create all these amazing games where they all created a virtual world and in that virtual world there were characters and rovers which are little robots that could move around, they could eat apples. One girl actually created a world that had different seasons. There was an ice land there, there was a city, there were rivers and they all different places and there's just so much creativity and these are coming from five to eight year olds if they can do it anyone can definitely do it and it's just so amazing what they came up with in such a short space of time Okay. I believe Black Girls Code is very important to show the kids, the young women, the future as to what they can be and become and what they can create and how they can influence the world. So did you have fun today? Yeah, it's fun. Um, what do you take from this experience and do you think it's important for Black Girls to Code? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. But um, yes, I think it's really important for Black Girls to Code because it helps them make money and get into the world of economics and society because it helps them make a lot of money. Okay. And mom, what do you think? I'm just excited. Um, outside of college and um, vocational skills, it gives the girls another outlook on a way to either make a living or to have another stream of income. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm very proud of Black Girls Code um, for actually extending the knowledge and the um, passion to make sure that other girls have the understanding of what it means to have that skill of coding. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, can you please start it again? Okay. You can go ahead. <laughs> because STEM is one of the big things that's out there now for kids, we think it's really important that our girls are in the forefront as far as coding, and we're glad that Black Girls Code is out there to help our girls have the cutting edge that they'll need to be innovative and a part of this whole new STEM thing that's going to come to Okay. And I like the fact that two Black Girls Code gives them that competitive edge that they need in the marketplace as they grow. Black Girls Code also helps them see black women in coding, whereas other code organizations, they may see men or they may see white women, but they don't see black, girl, black women that are in coding. So they see themselves already doing it. So Black Girls Coding is very important. And as I, I travel and I travel to China and I meet with developers in China, and I come back home and I realize you don't see, I don't see a, uh, a lot of African American females in the industry that I'm in. So again, that's why I love Black Girl Code because it will give them the competitive edge to compete in the IT industry. Okay. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not yet. And comment, 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 comment. Definitely check out the Black Girls Code website. I'll leave the link um, in my bio. It is really cool and if you can volunteer, they have several chapters. One chapter is in Atlanta, they have a chapter in New York, I think Chicago, they stretch out to Washington. There's so many chapters where you can go and volunteer and the work that they do is mainly focused, I mean, they can only do the work that they do because of volunteers, so definitely go out volunteer. This is something that I wanted to do because it got me so excited thinking, getting black little girls into coding. 
why not start them pretty young? A lot of times, like, as you saw in the video, um, as Addison was explaining that, a lot of times, like, we shy away because we feel like, oh my gosh, um, can I do it? Can I not do it? I had those thoughts too, but you know what? Go ahead and just do it because if a man can do it, why can't you do it? So definitely trying to get as many girls to go in, join this, and if you want to go volunteer with them, it'll be really amazing. It was a busy day. I got really tired running around and everything, but it was just so amazing to see the creativity. Like a lot of the games that the Peewees created, um, also games like that were created in other groups, but I'm just going to focus on the Peewees because that's the group that I was with. They were amazing games and like anyone could pretty much go on and play. And these are coming from such young little kids. So you can see that I'm like really happy that they're nurturing them when they're still so young and they're getting them when they're still so young to get them into this because there is so much creativity and there is so much talent out there in our youth and definitely you know that is something that I was definitely really excited about and getting into and if you're thinking of getting into computer science or getting into programming or computer engineering anything go for it that's all I can say it will be quite a journey but definitely hang in there because you know I'm still in here if I can do it you can do it. People are graduating, so we can all do it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thank you so much, you guys.